As a nation, we stand on the brink of technological revolution. Imagine a Nigeria where our brightest minds drive our economy forward. A place where tech talents aren't just securing jobs abroad, but are also creating opportunities right here at home. This isn't just a dream. It's our reality. The journey of transforming Nigeria's tech landscape began with a bold vision and a meticulous approach. Building on President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's desire to leverage technology for economic development, the Federal Ministry of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy set an ambitious plan in motion with a strategic 1% to 10% to 100% implementation approach. The initial phase served as a testing ground, a trial run with a single cohort of 30,000 fellows starting in November 2023 to pave the way for the 270,000 fellows in the current phase with plans to scale the 3 billion target in the next 24 months. The 3MTT program saw over 1.7 million applicants from all 36 states and the FCT, and each fellow brought a unique story, a desire to learn and a dream to innovate. 3MTT has been exciting to watch. Uh, it happens to be, the, at the minute, the largest technology talent accelerator in the world. The largest. There's no country anywhere in the world that is training 3 million technical talent. The reception that we've seen from our people, old, mid-age and young, has been extremely exciting. You can see the awareness and interest in the average Nigerian to actually be part of the digital economy. But they also understand that they can't be part of it without you know, acquiring the, the right skill sets that will allow them to be able to participate in it. Three MTT opportunity came to me at the right time. I always said that to people. I saw it and I, you know, I applied for it and I was picked. I was glad that it was free. And then that gave me the confidence to know that I could possibly be selected. In Kwara State, where I come from, uh, most of the people that have been hurt, the people don't even say more. We don't have, like, it's not like the state government have control. You have to know someone or you have to meet someone. You have to be part of a political party or being in, it's non-partisan. As long as you register, it's a value-driven selection process, which is very, very cool. The 3MTT program to me is a best fit especially at this time where D2 technology has become the linchpin of every activity that is done both in government and outside government. This is an opportunity that enables the grassroots to have access to internet access, access to telecommunication services, access to massive opportunities that are available as a result of what this current administration introduced. 3 NTT is designed to provide that opportunity to every Nigerian to be able to learn the skills in high demand and connect you to a meaningful job. Our enthusiastic fellows dedicated themselves to weekly physical applied learning sessions throughout the program. These sessions were more than just classes. They were immersive experiences where theory met practice and ideas blossomed into real-world solutions. The culmination of these phase saw our cohort one fellows graduating from the applied learning clusters. Each graduate now carries the torch of innovation ready to contribute to Nigeria's tech landscape. The first cohort we trained 30,000. So you'll be interested to know that many of them have actually been placed in different jobs. So we have some on internships, some have been actually recruited by some tech companies to do some roles. As time goes along, we are going to start seeing some of those getting remote jobs because of the kinds of skills that they are learning. We got interested in the TRMCT program when it was announced. Even before it was announced, we had actually indicated interest to partner with the government to train people. So when the Honorable Minister announced the TRMCT program for us, it was a no-brainer. We just needed we to be part of it because when we heard about it, we knew this program was going to be transformational. We know Nigeria is diverse and a lot of youth are now graduating and a lot of youth are coming up. So the TAMTT program has given the tech industry that name that a lot of people want to go in. 
and we as partners are working toward that. At the moment, the cohorts at 3 million tech talent are leveraging Amazon Web Services skill builders. And it's really exciting. It's exciting to see the, the progress. It's exciting to see the, the, the difference it is making. I have to give a real laudable applause to everyone at the ministry for this initiative, and I look forward to continuing to support. As Microsoft, we are committed to continue to work with the ministry of communication, innovation, and digital economy on this 3MTT program to ensure that everyone that is currently marginalized by technology actually have opportunity to be able to contribute to the AI-driven economy that we're all talking about and is really important to our economical advancement as a nation and as a continent. IHS Nigeria has been supporting the 3MTT by providing the learning platform, IHS Academy, the learners are learning on, and also engaging the community managers. Their recruitment, their work tools, their salaries, IHS Nigeria is the one covering that. To sustain the motivation and inspiration of fellows, initiatives such as the Knowledge Showcase, Innovation Challenge, and the Tech for Good Hackathon were introduced for the 3MTT program. These events, organized across the diverse geographical regions of Nigeria, underscore the commitment of the 3MTT program to foster innovation and address pertinent societal challenges with their learnings. The 3MTT Hackathon is a series of events hosted in all geographical regions of the nation with the intent to foster conversations that highlight solutions to key problems plaguing the nation. From the 3MTT program, there are some participants that have gone as far as coming up with a tech idea. So one of them is um, a fellow who works on a community watch app, and this app is for the purpose of crime escalation. The future of Nigeria is indeed bright, as a new generation of technical talents are now being equipped to improve their lives and communities with their skills. Beyond the competitive aspect, the true significance lies in the concrete solutions of practical insights generated. The 3MTT Tech for Good Hackathon epitomizes the spirit of collaboration, innovation, and social responsibility, laying the groundwork for a brighter and more prosperous future for our nation, driven by a strong pipeline of tech talent. In the last few years, our youth have not been so, so actively involved. But with the advent of 3MTT, more people are now picking up interest in tech. My participation in 3MTT program has improved my life professionally and personally. Because before now, I had no idea of what it means to be a UI UGS designer. But currently, I can comfortably explain to you what it is all about and also go to the extent of designing an app. I've always wanted to learn data science and 3MPT has given me the platform so graciously and so freely and it has exposed me to a wonderful community and this community is ready to continually support me in this journey. And when you look at Nigeria's tech ecosystem, the whole tech ecosystem with all the things that are in place are not up to 10,000 people. So think about what this 3MTT program is going to do by injecting 3 million uh, people in the tech ecosystem. To learn a tech skill in this present time, it's going to take a very large sum of money. But with this program, the government has been able to make us to have these trainings for free. I would like to thank the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria his Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, he assured Nigerians that his administration will provide one million technical jobs. And that's what gave back to the 3MTT. These are our future leaders, innovators and new job creators. From Lagos to Kanu, from Enugu to Sokoto, 3MTT program is making a tangible difference and the journey so far is a statement of collective effort resilience, and the bright future that lies ahead. The Federal Ministry of Communications, Innovation, and Digital Economy is transforming our nation one talent at a time by equipping the Nigerian youth with skills they need to thrive in the global digital economy and be drivers of economic prosperity. Cheers to the rise of a new generation of tech stars that will provide value 
and grow the Nigerian economy.